The Paris attack sparked an international debate about free speech. For politicians and security chiefs dealing with the threat from radical Islam, the challenge is to balance civil liberties with national security. In the UK, once again, the focus is on technology in the fight against extremism. The Prime Minister is keen for the intelligence agencies to have new powers which would allow them to access records of individuals' online and mobile phone activity. It's been dubbed by its critics a snooper's charter. And that's how David Cameron's deputy referred to it this morning in a radio interview, underlining his opposition to the move and a split in the coalition. Because what, let's remember, the so-called snooper's charter was about was about storing... Uh, the social media activity and the websites visited by every single man, woman and child in this country. By everyone. If the information is to be stored, then how do the authorities get access to it? There should be strict rules on this, according to one Conservative. The question is, who is going to give the authorization? And you know, at the moment, obviously, that's the, that is, that, that's the important debate. I, I'd like, like to see it done at quite a senior level, but you obviously can't have the Home Secretary issuing a, a warrant every time. This afternoon in the House of Lords, peers will debate other counter-terrorism measures which are already forming part of proposed legislation. Amongst the most controversial is a plan to exclude British citizens considered a security threat from returning temporarily to the UK. June Kelly, BBC News.